Namaste. My name is Will Zimmer. I'm International Meditation Master. Today I want to speak about be skeptic. Be skeptic. Think independent. Independence. Get your information from as much different sources as possible. Question everything. This quote is from the legendary investor Jimmy Rogers, the most successful fund manager in the world. This means to be skeptic is not to be wrong. Okay, one example. I want to get more information about the two-day money bubble or the printing money like crazy. What to do? The media we can't trust. It is just a propaganda machine of the government. So the next choice is just to get books with different opinions about that subject. Makes sense. Yes, it is just the center. Okay. And we need books with different opinions from ourselves. So <laughs> not the same thing. What we know already. Different opinions. Why is it so crucial from different opinions? Okay. We can learn from everybody. Everybody knows something what is valuable. And everybody, including me, including you, has gathered so many wrong information that we need to be confronted with different opinions and afterwards we can sort out what is right and what is wrong. So. And now, so I got the first book from the very famous expert, Harry S. Dent, the last book from him. And this is about inflation, the demography, really great information inside of this book. <laughs> and then he described the 2017 crisis is the same like, two, uh, like 1933 with the, with the biggest um, stock market crash ever had happened in the world. And, now comes the joke, no? okay, and with a deflation and go down. Oh my God. <laughs> So, then he compares this crisis with the crisis from 1933. In 1933, the government, or Roosevelt, from the American, confiscated all the gold. And then the gold price went up 70% and the dollar went down 70% because there was a gold standard. So what was this? Actually it was an inflation and gold went up. The other point is also 1933 there was no money printing at all or not so much like today. This means the situation from 1933 is totally different from the situation today. So how we can compare both things? As in this point, he is 200% wrong. Even from a, such a famous economy expert. Still, the book is valuable to read for everybody. There are so many great statistics inside, read it. Then we need the next book, The Money Bubble. Simple title. And here we can read the missing points 
what where he was wrong, where uh, Harry S. Dent was wrong, and then we have all the information what we need to protect ourselves for the come crisis that we don't lose all of our money. Okay, makes sense. I think the next thing is what Roger, um, Jimmy Roger said. Don't think in the terms what you wish. Think what is and not what you want. Actually, this point is the biggest money loss because all the people think in terms of what they want and they lost all their money on the stock market. Or we're getting blind to prove our theories like Harry S. Dent and cannot see to the same time the, the reality. Be open for new opinion, for new things that happens right now. That you don't get blind through proving something and so on. It doesn't make sense. So in the history, every 10 years at least, much of the things had changed. This means today the opinion might be right, but in 10 years ago, nearly 80-90% or more are wrong. So we have to adapt to the situation right now. Sure. And if we don't want to change, we are out of the game. We are becoming losers. Look what is and not what we want. Look that we change and adapt to the situation and be skeptic and really question everything. Then we get the right independence thinking and can make up our own opinion and not a blind follow from any theory. This area as then I had lost so much money with this forecast. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you that you have um, seen this video. And bye.